Welcome back, Roaming Speed fans. Um, today, we have a new addition to the channel. So, this is a 2021 Kodiak Cub 19BH. We're going to do a quick walkthrough and check it out. There's not a lot of videos on the 2021s out yet. So, this is, I, I think there's only about three or four that are out on the market right now. So I wanted to go over some of the features that uh, kind of persuaded us to pick this one up. All right, everybody. Um, like I said in the introduction, it's a, a 198BH Dutchman Kodiak Cub. Um, this is a 2021, and we've looked around at campers. We've rented campers, anything from, a, a, I think, a 16-foot bug house up to, I think, the biggest one we ever rented was a 30-foot. So we settled in on this one. We do a lot of national park um, trips and things like that. And when you get a bigger camper, like um, a 26 bunkhouse, a 26 foot bunkhouse, it's hard to find spaces. And in national parks, you know, you get in 19, 22 feet, you can usually get a pretty good um, campsite in those. So that's what persuaded us to go to a 19 foot. It's a little um, tight for a family of five. But with this model and the layout inside, it actually works really well. So we'll do a quick walk around, check it out, and we'll go inside. I'll show you some of the cool features inside, and then um, you know, give me give you an opinion um, since we just picked this up uh, about two or three days ago. So stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the 2021 Kodiak Cub, and as you can see, it comes standard with uh, dual 20 pound propane tanks, has power jack with a light, um, comes standard with a single battery. It also has power leveling jacks um, with um, LED lights underneath. So at night, it's got a good, he uh, like good lighting when you're trying to put the jacks down and help you set up in the um, evening. So, um, just like everything else, it's got pass-through storage inside there. Has magnetic door catches. So, you know, kid runs by, it doesn't rip the, the plastic off of it. Pretty good size slide. You'll see when we go inside, that's the uh, dinette booth, and I think it's about 40 inches deep. So, comes standard with an off like an off-road looking tire comes with a not so traditional torsion axle so there's no leaf springs there's nothing um, it's got a heated underbelly and sealed underneath here there's your gray and black water valves city connection it's got the um, cable 30 amp it also has a little storage pass through. This bed does fold up and gives you quite a bit of storage on the inside. All LED lighting. It does have a bumper for storage, spare tire, pre wired for the um, reverse camera. I pulled the awning out just a little bit. It, um, it, it goes pretty much the whole length. I think, like I said, it's 19 foot box, so it's probably a 14 foot awning. Here's the uh, power jack, like I was saying before. There's a button right here that you can adjust it. It does not have a propane quick connect on the exterior, but it does have a spray port and it does come with a hose. Black water tank flush. This is the only bad part. This is on your camp side. So you have your black water tank, fresh water tank. The only bad part about this being on the campsite is when you go to dump you're never on this side of the camper so if you want to flush this you're gonna to have to make sure 
you have a hose long enough to go underneath the camper and run it to that. So just something I saw. It's got some aluminum steps. And inside this storage, which it's locked, Sorry about this, there we go. Inside this one is the pass-through that we looked at earlier. There is a mess, the other for the both jacks in the front. It does have switches for lighting in here. This is the switch for the um, lights, the stabilizer jack. And then this is your like loading lights up on the nose of the uh, unit. So overall it's a great design on the outside i mean it's got outdoor speakers you can see the led lights underneath the awning and uh, you know it's it's a good single axle compact unit so let's go ahead and go on inside all right walking in you can see the uh, slide like i said those um benches are about 40 inches wide little storage and here's what kind of sold us on it. I'm gonna try to get this in frame here is how much storage is in this thing so you got storage all over in the kitchen you got that one that one we'll open all these up here in just a second you got above the bed you've got a little wardrobe there and then a lot of people don't realize there's actually a little shelf right on the back side of the bed so Tons of storage, tons of light, lots of good windows. Here's the bunks we looked at through that storage door. So this one folds into us, and this one folds up. So it's kind of hard to do with getting it in frame. So you could stack, or you could store a lot of really tall items here. This is a 7 cubic foot refrigerator i believe for 2021 so let me get you guys set up we'll start looking at things all right so we got lots of storage here seven cubic foot refrigerator um it's got a bottom drawer electric gas norcold this is the brand on this one freezer good size freezer um glass top to kind of give you more surface it does come with a um, sink cover underneath here so you can have one big piece of surface um, this I will say um, does not have a um, ignite ignition system so you have to have a lighter to light it so keep that in mind um, good big sink one big sink um, it's a kind of a plastic polymer type material but seems good quality um, you got a huge storage here you have top lots of good storage in here and everything seems pretty well built it's got metal slides so everything moves really good you have this storage up here which is really quite deep and wide and then you got one underneath the um, stove top also that is really really wide so and then since we're looking at storage before we go in the bathroom is you got a wardrobe that has a hanging rod also and then you have two doors up here that go all the way from wall to wall so you have all that too inside here storage um, you know, uh, it, it's not that deep. It's probably 10 inches deep. So just keep that in mind. And then into the bathroom, everybody likes to talk about it. It comes with, here, I'm gonna take that. It comes with storage in here, but it does hit the toilet so it doesn't open, you know, more than, you know, 80 degrees. You have a little storage there. Quite a bit of storage in here. You do have medicine cabinet with storage. 
good skylight in case you're, you know, I'm 5'9", and my head is, you know, probably an inch or two from the top. So if you're six foot, your head's going to be up in the sun, the uh, skylight. So just a standard faucet. I will say you have a motion light here. And then you have a switch on the wall that has a light back there also. Has what I would call a computer fan <laughs> for ventilation. That's the only downfall. It doesn't move that much air, so it may get some condensation, some heat in the unit. Um, it does have speakers on the inside. It has a pretty basic radio, AM, FM. It has an HDMI and USB, it has Bluetooth. It also has um, zones one and two for inside and outside. So, but the best part about this is the amount of storage it has. It has drawers and doors and cabinets everywhere for storage. I mean, this one here, once again, this is something I didn't see on a lot of them is metal drawer slides. So this, it seems really sturdy. You got both of those that you can use. Pull them all the way out. So that's quite a bit of storage in a unit this small. So, and then underneath the queen, this is a, let's put that back in. This is a RV queen. It's not a full queen bed. So they may say queen on the floor plan on Dutchman's website. This is not a full queen bed. This is an RV queen. So it's a little shorter and a little narrower. And then I couldn't find any videos with it being pulled up, but the only way to the storage is this little door here. It's probably, I don't know, 24 inches wide. So just keep that in mind. And then the only other thing I saw is on Dutchman's website. They're showing overhead storage on their floor plan up here. There is no overhead storage up there. And then it's got a simple air conditioning here, 13,000 BTU Dometic. Um, it does have a furnace and the only, it's non-ducted. So any air conditioning is coming out this side, this side, the back side, this side, or you can adjust this little flap to bring it straight down. The heat only comes out of that vent right there. So I'm interested when we do some cold camping to see how well it heats everything up, but it should do just fine. And the last thing I'm going to show you, this is the information panel. Um, porch lights are the awning lights, the ceiling lights, and then we have our electric water pump or electric water heater portion where you can switch it to gas, electric water pump for the slide, and then the awning. Um, this is your fresh water, batteries, black tank, gray tanks. Um, just let you know that this is just a standard template. You can see there's no for more slides here. And then this only has one black water and one gray water. So this button and this button is pretty much doesn't matter to us. So I will say that the electric portion of the water heater takes um, probably... 10 to 15 minutes to warm up where the gas is probably five to ten so it's about half to use the gas but once again you're using all your propane so this is our unit we we like it a whole lot it's gonna serve its purpose for us and hopefully we'll get some good videos out using it seeing giving you guys a follow-up and uh, let you guys um, check it out and we're going to check it out and see what happens and uh, see if there's any issues. But if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. All right, guys, that's the walkthrough on the Dutchman Kodiak um, Cub 198BH, the 2021 version. So like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions or comments. And that helps us uh, let us know what you guys want to see. If you have any questions about the camper, let me know, or any future videos you want to see with it. Um, we do have a... Um, forgot to mention an f-250 that we tow it with so once we get some mileage on it um, we'll do a review on if that's needed that's just the truck we have so um, 
we'll see what happens. And uh, like I said, like, subscribe, and comment. And hopefully we'll have another video out here soon. Keep roaming.